best part about summer? Road trips. Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I'm going to be suggesting 10 books that I think would be great to read on a road trip. Now, I know we're already nearing the middle of July, so some of y'all might have already taken your summer trips, but I haven't taken mine yet. In fact, I'm gonna go from a college orientation camp to a week-long road trip vacation to moving into college, so my August going to be nuts. So I don't think it's too late to be doing this kind of a video. Some of these books I read while on a road trip, some of these books have road trips as part of the story, and some of these books I just think would be good to read on a road trip. So the first book I have is I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak. This book is about a kid named Ed. He's an underage cab driver in New York. He is hopelessly in love with his best friend Audrey, and he has a coffee drinking dog named Dorman. One day he starts getting aces from a deck of playing cards in the mail with people's names and he has to go and deliver messages and he ends up doing all these good deeds and it's about his experience with the cards and how that kind of changes his life and his view on life. This book was fantastic. I read it like two summers ago and I absolutely loved it. If you read Marcus Zusek's The Book Thief then you need to read this book because it is just as good. It is so amazing and I think it'd be great for a road trip. The next book I have is The Lightning Queen by Laura Rissau. I think I'm saying her name right. Now this book is probably one of the most unique books I've ever read. The majority of it is the story that this grandfather is telling his grandson. And so the story is mostly about the grandfather. His name's Tio and he lives in the remote mountains of Mexico and one day these gypsies come and he meets Esma. And it's about them becoming friends and there's like magical realism. There's a bunch of animals. It was just an amazing, amazing read and I, it was very adventure heavy. It really made you want to go on an adventure and it's a, just a really magical, whimsical, fun read. And so it's gonna be great for a road trip. Next, I have All the Bright Places by Jennifer Nevin. Or Neven, I don't remember which. This book is about a boy named Finch and a girl named Violet and they meet at the top of the school's bell tower, six stories up and it's unclear who saves who from jumping off. So just know going in, that this book covers depression and suicide and mental illness so if you are uncomfortable reading those topics then you probably don't want to pick this book up but it's a great book and they take a bunch of little day trips in it which is why i think that it's a great thing for a road trip just note it is a bit sad but it's an amazing book and i highly suggest you read it next i have mosquito land by david arnold this book is about a girl named nim who is living with her stepmother and her dad. One day she overhears that her biological mom is sick, so she leaves in the middle of the school day to go and find her mom. This book is a road trip, and that's why I think it's great for a road trip. She's on a bus, then she's in her truck, and she's just constantly on the move. And she kind of keeps a diary on the road trip, and I love just the whole progression of her meeting the people, going to different places. It was just a really great book, and I highly suggest you pick it up. Plus, be great for a road trip. Next we have The Last True Love Story by Brendan Kiley. So this story is about a girl named Hendrix and his grandfather is the closest family he has but he has Alzheimer's and so he's slowly forgetting everything. Hendrix makes the impossible promise to his grandfather that he'd get him across country to the hill where he first kissed his wife. And so with the help of a girl named Karina they go on a road trip. So again a road trip is part of the story. This book was really really cute. I really enjoyed it. Plus Brendan Kiley He's a great author, like he's just amazing. I met him at the Texas Teen Book Festival and he was amazing. There are a lot of song and music references in this book and actually I was making a playlist for it and I stopped. So I need to get back on that. But it's a great road trip book and I highly suggest you read it. Next we have The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. As y'all know, I love this book. This book starts where the world ends, Earth gets blown up, and Arthur Dent is the only human alive now. Ford Perfect, the author of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy book, is the one who gets him off of Earth before it explodes, and then it's just about their adventures in space after that. So it's like a road trip in space. It's hilarious. I love this book so much. It is the most ridiculous thing you will ever read. And so you... It, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's amazing. You need to read it. Go pick it up now. Great for a road trip. You'll thank me later. Next is Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. As y'all know, I'm in love with this book. So this book is about a girl named Bailey and a guy named Porter, but online they're known as Mink and Alex, and they actually communicate online. And Porter conveniently lives in the same town that Bailey's dad does, and Bailey ends up going to move in with her dad, but instead of telling Alex, as she knows him, 
that she's coming, she decides to kind of scope out the territory and see if she can find him. But then she gets a job at this really wacky museum, and who works there? Porter. This book is just a really fun book. It's got that Pride and Prejudice trope where they start out as enemies and then it, you, you know where it goes after that. They take a few day trips here and there and it is just a great book, a great summer read. Highly suggested. Great for a road trip. The next book I have is This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. This book is about a girl named Sloan and her family moves from New York down to Florida and so she's not really into this new place. She's not really happy with the move. But she ends up making a few friends and ends up in this group of friends. The two people in that group of friends are actually twins and their mother passed away but she was a painter and one of her paintings that they wanted ends up being sold and so then there's this adventure to go and find that painting. This book was amazing. So great. Absolutely loved it. The friendships were everything. The love. It's one of those subtle loves. Very subtle. And I loved that about it. I loved how the focus wasn't the romance. The focus was the friendships. Adventure, there's a little road trip going on to go find the painting. So again, some road trips happen in this. It's just a real fun, real quick read. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. You need to read it. This book I have is Girl on a Wire by Gwenda Bond. This book I actually read on a road trip. I read it in one day on an eight hour ride up to Palm Canyon in Texas. So this book is about Jules and she and her family are in the circus and she is a high wire walker. Her and her family are offered positions in this really big, really steamed circus. However, a rival family is also in that circus. So they almost don't take the job, but Jules ends up convincing them to go and then it's about them being in the same circus and same vicinity as their rivals. And then little bad accidents start happening here and there and so she has to team up with someone to try and figure out what's going on and who's doing it. So it's a really light mystery and it was just a great book, loads of fun, lovely cover, highly suggested, great for a road trip. And the last book I have is The High Society by Ali Carter. As y'all know, Ali Carter, my favorite author. So this book is about a girl named Katarina Bishop and she is trying to get out of the thieving life that her whole family is in. But when her father is framed for stealing some things that he didn't steal, she gets back into the thieving world and ends up having to plan a heist to re-steal the paintings from where they are, and doing so clearing her father's name. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Read Ali Carter books. Just basically any Ali Carter book would be great for a road trip, for any time whatsoever. Pick up Ali Carter. Her books are great. This book is great. They travel a lot in the book. One of the people owns a jet, so it's great for road trips. It's just a great book. Can you tell that I think this is a great book? Because it's a great book. And it's actually the first one in a trilogy, so you could get like, you know, the whole trilogy and read that on your road trip. So those are my recommendations for road trip books. Let me know down below what kind of books you like to read on a road trip. I'm honestly not that picky. Like I've read mysteries on road trips. I've read sci-fi on road trips. I just, I just read whatever I'm reading at the moment. But these are the kind of books I feel would put you in a road trip mood. Yeah, let me down below what you like to read on road trips and your recommendations you have. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all again in another one soon.